Welcome back to Taxes Made Simple, family. I'm here in Chino Hills, California, and it is beautiful. But I wanna let you know why we're here today. Today, we are interviewing an entrepreneur that has multiple businesses, someone who has found success selling exclusive products, and we get to see into his process today of how he makes those products and brings them to the marketplace. So let's go ahead and meet Ian and learn a little bit more about how he runs his businesses. Come with me. What's up, hey. guys? Hey, how's it going, how's it going? brother? Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, come on in. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I'm here with my buddy Ian Alden, and Ian is somebody who makes custom, luxurious, one of one Nike shoes. And I want to talk to you about, like, first off, how did you even get into that profession? And then secondly, like, who are the clients and high net worth celebrities and individuals that you're already serving? The way I got into it, I actually, I've always just wanted to make shoes for myself. I actually never had any intentions or plans of making shoes for anybody really? but myself. Yeah, and uh, that's how I started. I just, I really wanted to do it. A couple of years ago, I tried taking a shoe apart and I just really had no idea what I was doing. I took the shoe apart. I started trying to like retrace the pattern or the, the actual fabrics of the shoe, but I really didn't know what I was doing. I kind of just gave up. And uh, I was lucky a couple of years and a couple of years ago to take a short little weekend class of how to take apart a shoe and put it back together. And they just give you like a very fast introduction of making shoes. So I took that class and then ever since then I've been making shoes. So I would say like for the, like a full year after that, I was just pumping shoes out, still running my other, you know, my martial arts business. Yeah. And then fast forward to March, 2020, COVID hits. And uh, my, my Jiu Jitsu business is, you know, essentially shut down for a couple of months. And I'm just stuck at home every single day just making shoes because that's all I really could do at the time. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was stuck, I was bored. And at that time I started, you know, just posting pictures of the shoes that I was making. And I had a couple of friends ask me, hey, would you make a pair of shoes for me? And I decided like, okay, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. And then everything kind of just exploded from there and built from there. Okay. Yeah. And like, who are some of the people now that get access to your shoes? Uh, some of like the more known people, uh, I've worked with Brendan Schaub, uh, Pete Hegseth, uh, Lawrence B. Jones, uh, Michael Chandler, uh, Rachel Ostrovich, Jeff Hamilton. Okay. Yeah, we've got, got, a, got a good list of people that oh, are man. getting these shoes. So yeah. I heard a few uh, UFC athletes in yeah, there as yeah. well. Does that have to do with anything of your background, being a jiu-jitsu instructor? Um, you know what? The way that worked out was kind of like just out of luck too, because Brendan Shaw got a pair of, of shoes from me. And then uh, Michael Chandler ended up doing uh, one of his podcasts with Brendan Shaw and got to see the pair of shoes that I did for him. So from word of mouth, I got to talk to Michael Chandler and all that, so wow. yeah. So your business with creating custom shoes really blew up during COVID and you decided to pivot. When your gym shut down, you were forced to kind of really build something else and this Correct. started off for you. Yeah. So tell me, how has the business grown from the very start of COVID to where you're at now? How busy are you? How many orders do you have? How many shoes have you ripped apart? Man, uh, I, I've definitely taken apart probably over 100 pairs of shoes at this point. <laughs> uh, but man, it, it, last year, it, the, the business really started to pick up and so far this year, we're only, you know, halfway through the year and I've already doubled the amount of sales that I did last year. So wow. hopefully we'll keep that going, but it's, it's been picking up and hopefully we just keep that ball rolling. Okay. Yeah. So with your first business, you have your jujitsu facility, which we're going to talk about that later. But with the second business, this was really a passion project. This was Correct. you starting out on your own. So let me ask you. Are you at a place where this passion project is still your baby? You're keeping it, you're handling 100% of the work? Or are you slowly starting to bring somebody in to kind of help you with it? Or do you do you want to keep that touch like an artist? What, what, is, what uh, is how you're planning on running? So right now I'm like running 100% by myself and I plan just, you know, keeping it like that and, and until it, maybe it expands a little more. But like I said, I really had I really didn't have a lot of thought into it because I never really planned on making a business out of it. It's yeah. something that kind of happened on its own. So yeah. right now I'm taking it day by day. And uh, like I said, we'll see where it goes from here, but I just want to keep this ball rolling, you know? Yeah. When I called you, I know, cause I was, I was telling Jenna, um, I was super excited to connect with you about this whole shoe thing that you had going on. And you're like, Carlton, I watch your videos. I know your personality. I'm thinking we go with shark skin. And when you told me that, I was like, shark skin? How how are you going to get shark skin? And you're like, well, maybe we can do shark skin and Python. And then when you hit me with that, I was like, okay, this guy thinks <laughs> completely outside of the box. Like normally when I think about shoes, I'm thinking about like sheep skin, wool, cotton, something along those sorts. Exactly. But you're using completely different 
like material. So can you explain to me like, when did that all start happening for you? Where you're like, I'm gonna go abstract with the materials and do you have any that we could see? I wanna touch some, some snake skin. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I think that most people, especially like ones that are seeking out Jordans and like those type of, type of shoes, they want exclusive shoes, you know? Yeah. They want the shoes that no one else has. And uh, usually the ones that they're buying, you know, from Nike, there's gonna be thousands of them made, hundreds of thousands of them made. So they're really not that exclusive. And the shoes that I make, they're true one of ones and the fabrics, you will never see them on an actual Nike pair. Yeah. So just that alone, if someone has this pair, it's a true one of one and this material is never gonna be used in a Nike pair and you'll probably just won't see it in general, that material. Are know? the ones you're wearing right now one of ones? These are one of ones. I made this myself. These are based off a of Travis Scott pair. I see uh, the reverse swoosh yeah. on those. Those are lit. Yeah, so you know, Travis Scott had the, the blue one that came out. They didn't do the red, so I figured why not? I want to make a red one, you know? Oh, so man. that's basically like, when I make shoes for myself, that's what I'm thinking in my head is I want someone that no one else has and I want it to turn heads. I want everyone to be looking at it. I want people to come up to me and say, where'd you get that, you know? <laughs> So, um, it's lit. Yeah. Travis Scott, <laughs> Travis Scott voice. Yeah. It's lit. Speaking Mike of, and it. speaking of shark, you guys know it's shark week, right? It's shark week right now. It's shark week right now. It's shark, it's shark week, week right now. Let's go. <laughs> let's see some shark skin, man. Okay. Let's see some shark. Actually, I have my shark skin over here. I gotta grab it. This right here is a piece of shark skin. If you guys want to like zoom in. Dang. This was the one I used for your pair. This is more of like, um, like so this is, this is, this is the shark skin you use you're using on my pair. And this yeah. is a shark? This like is shark, yeah. This oh is actual shark skin right here. Goodness. Oh, I have never touched a shark before. I've never swam with sharks before. I never intend to swim with sharks. I know a lot of my <laughs> followers do a lot of daring things like jump out of planes and swim in the ocean with sharks. I'm not one of those people, but I will touch some shark skin, okay? If it's gonna go on my shoes, if it's gonna be some material you plan on using, I will, I will get down and touch some shark skin. Um, that's already been, um, you know, hopefully these have been killed the right way. So. <laughs> this would be uh, like a python skin want, right now. And I don't want PETA down my back after this interview. <laughs> this is a real python This is skin? real python, yes sir. And oh this is hand dyed goodness. by one of my buddies. So it's been dyed a little yeah. bit? Okay. Wow. My buddy Greg from New York uh, hand dyes this and uh, he does a beautiful job with all the skins I ask him to do. Jeez, so scaly. This would be some croc skin. Yeah, that looks like dyed. crocodile. Yeah. Blue croc, so he dyed this too? He hand dyed these, yes sir. Oh man, look at the difference when you touch the python versus the croc. Yeah, definitely different. Uh, Lethal. Very different textures. The shark skin is the roughest though. Is the roughest. Mm -hmm. The shark skin, so these skins these, are. This feels like the softest. Yeah, like, they're very. That's, soft. and, that, and that's why what really makes them, you know, more expensive because they're so delicate. And putting these shoes together with certain leathers can be more simple if they're thicker. But things like this, like python and sometimes things like this, they're yeah. so thin that I need to back the material with something else. So essentially, I have to double up the patterns that for, for one of these pairs that I wouldn't have to do for another pair. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to creating like a shoe, would you pull from all three of these different animals for one shoe or would you try to say, like, I'm just gonna create this whole shoe with python skin? I, I have done both ways. I've, I've done a pair made of all python. I've done pairs mi mixed with different animals. I think it looks really cool when you mix them, the different textures. Yeah. Um, if I do one, one material, if I was to do all python, I have to be very specific where I put the patterns because I want the textures to look a little bit different in each, each piece and okay. not look too much the same, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So, but I, I do think when you mix them together, they end up looking really, really cool. This one just looks like a shark head. Right. Coming right <laughs> at you. This is crazy. So what's the like most abstract animal someone said that they wanted? Like, you haven't heard anything crazy like, I, like I want a giraffe skin, I'm like no, um, right? You, one, of, skin? one of my friends was trying to get a human pair of shoes. I didn't want to do that. I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, so, so, uh, what? <laughs> bad joke. Uh, <laughs> let's see, my, actually I have one buddy that's always asking me to do ostrich. I haven't done that ostrich. yet. That's probably something that I'll do in the future, uh, but the skins are very, very expensive. Yeah. And so I want to make sure if I'm going to buy something that expensive that I do it right. 
That's crazy. So you're like studying animal skins too. Like, yes. Let me look at <laughs> let me look at animal skins and yes. see if like this is a, a it, viable option for one of my products. It's true. And it's funny because a couple of years ago I really didn't know anything about leathers, and now you know I have a really really common knowledge about it. So it's it's a uh, it's 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 nice. Okay. So yeah. you have a complete knowledge base on materials, skin, but what about the process of how you make it? Like, I see a bunch of stuff going on back here. Tell us a little bit about what your what your setup is. What do you have going on? So right here, I just have different tables and usually I'll just use them for different projects because I don't personally like to work on one project at once. I like to work on multiple things at the same time. Yeah. So uh, this is just a project, like I said, I have two pairs of shoes that I'm making for some guy right now. This this guy is actually, in, um, he's a partner with Shaq and they're, they're opening um, a, a franchise business. Uh, it's Shaq's business called Big Chicken. Oh wow! Yeah, big chicken. So That's they're op sick. they're opening one in a couple months, and uh, this is a good. This is actually this pair is based off their logos or their colors. So the person who's getting in a partnership with Shaq wanted a pair. Yes, that is sick. Yeah, and then we're gonna. I'm hoping that this is gonna lead to me making a pair for Shaq. So I'm already talking to that guy, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. But all right. Size 22 will be interesting to make. You know. Isn't it incredible how you can. Um, establish relationships with certain people and then it leads to other relationships and business. Yes. I think sometimes people get caught up on trying to have such an online presence and um, you know, be the person that's out in front and marketing themselves the greatest, but really it's the people who are providing the most value because when value is provided, you're able to get relationships like the one that you're getting right now with the shoe. Correct. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's the hardest thing for me is uh, I guess my social media presence because there's some days where I feel like I know what I'm doing and then there's some days I, I really don't. And then, Welcome to entrepreneurship. Yeah, and, and then there's, uh, there's just some days where I just don't even want to be on social media at all. I just want to kind of work on this, but nowadays you really have to work with the social media at the same time. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to avoid it, but it's something that I'm trying to get better at as well. That is right, absolutely. Yeah. Branding is important. Branding <laughs> is important, guys. Come on now. Is this something that's, this almost looks like the colors that I that I was going for. This actually is this, my this shoe is right actually here? your shoe getting put oh, together snap. right now. Yeah, Mike, so come here. Got, let's 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 look into this. My shoe is being built. Tell us what we have going on here. So right here we have some white python. We have the black shark right here, and we have a little bit of gold python right here. And this is just the process of me putting all the pieces together right now. So this the swoosh is going to be made out of gold python. Correct. I am so happy. <laughs> this is going to be sick. Man, well, okay, so as I'm looking at this, I'm like, he's probably like 30% done. What would you think, like, based off of this? Um, yeah, I would say you're correct. I would say I'm about 30% done. That sounds about correct right now. You know, I'm a good numbers yeah. guy. They, yeah, you they are They call about, me for the numbers. You, hey, let's, let's see if you could put this shoe together. Do you know how to put the pieces <laughs> together? Uh, okay, so this is the back, okay. for sure. Okay, uh, swoosh, okay, uh, uh-oh. Okay, this is going here. This one's gonna go here. And then this one would come back like this? Close. Close. Oh. All right, so okay, what I we're gonna do up. right here is, this is the, actually the upper portion. So you would put this on the top, and you see these little marks I have right here? Yeah. These lines just determine where I'm gonna put the piece. So this is gonna go right over here, around here. And this piece will go right around. Yeah. Oh yeah, that now that right. looks like a sneaker, bro. Right? Yeah. So then right here we got our heel. The heel's gonna go right over this portion. Mm-hmm. This one's gonna slide in here first. So we're gonna go yep, here. that's the little lip. Right. And then you got these guys right here. This is where the eyelets are gonna go, where the laces will go through. This is looking like a shoe. Right? So now it's all coming together. This is looking like a shoe. So that's what your pair will look like. And this is, man, man this, this, look, is sick. this looks really cool, but you guys will see, once the liner gets put in, that's when the shoe really comes alive. And when you start molding it, and it starts getting the 3D look, you guys are gonna see it's gonna be a completely different shoe than what you're looking at right now. Man, I am, I'm blown away with this. I'm so excited to see the shoe. All right, today's the day. I got the text message. The shoes should be ready. Ian should be down here right now. We're gonna go let him in. Check out the case. Welcome, welcome. Oh, no. Special delivery. Yeah, come How you on doing, in, bro? Good, Good to see you. you. Good, thank you. 
All right, bro, so excited to see these. I know that you're an artist, and like many artists, it takes time. So I'm excited to see what these, what these entail. Got the right size. Oh my goodness. These are hot. Boy, explain, explain. So right here we have <laughs> some black shark. All the black is, is a shark. We have white python. We got gold python right here. And then it's lined with a gray lamb skin. Oh my goodness. So this is lamb on the, the, yeah, inner, the inside. Everything is premium materials. I love the Tax Alchemy logo. Can you see that? Got my brand on the front of it. So my buddy Trippy Pins, he does all my patches custom like that. And then the cool thing about this is if you ever wanted to switch it off for something else, Velcro, so you can always put in whatever else you want. You can rep These me, you can swag. rep you, whatever you want to do. These are so sick. Let me see, both sides Velcro? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You made these, the logo and everything? So that my buddy does. He has a, a digitizer to go and you know put your, your uh, logo in there. Yeah. And they'll have it made it out, but uh, everything else is handmade by me. Tell me how you got the Python worked in here. So I have to go buy some Python skins, you know, yeah. and the skins themselves, they're, they're very thin, they're delicate. So when you're putting it together, if I were just to use a skin by itself, the shoe would not be that strong. So I, yeah. have, I have to back the skins with other material to make sure it's a sturdy pair. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much the process of put doing the snake. Uh, for the shark, the shark is actually a little bit thicker material. Uh, Cool thing too is all these edges are also hand painted edges. So just to match the side of the shoe, like you'll see this is all black hand painted. Otherwise it would be a di different color. Yeah. So I did all that uh, by hand as well. So I'm pretty much wearing the ocean and the jungle on me yes. pretty much with yes. the, the shark and the python. And then I bring in the Tax Alchemy logo. With the lambskin on the inside, that was a delicate touch. What made yeah. you think? What made you think lambskin? So I like to always use premium materials, as I said, and, and the lambskin is very, very smooth. So you'll see when you put your foot in, it's gonna slide right in. Yeah. Where if I were to use a, a different type of skin, maybe like a cow leather, it's gonna be really thick and hard to get your foot in there. Yeah. So the lambskin just makes it real smooth. Might need to uh, unloosen the, the laces a little bit. But. Yeah. Man, you can definitely tell everything about this shoe is is custom. Like, you're gonna turn a lot of heads with these pairs. This is sick. Yes. White snake skin, black shark skin, tax out. Exclusive. How would they be able to get in touch with you? How would somebody be able to get a, a one of ones like these? So right now, I would just say contact me through my IG, which is Ease Kicks. Um, I'll be probably starting a website in the next couple months. I've been meaning to do that, but right now, I'm just having private orders through IG, and I have an email also, EaseKicks at gmail.com. I'm just yep. basically doing everything to do that right now. Ease Kicks it is. You guys heard it here first. My boy Ian just hooked me up with some one of ones. These are hot. The only place you can get these. You're not gonna see these on the shelf anywhere because they're in my closet when you <laughs> see this video. So if you guys wanna get a pair of kicks, ease, I'll drop it below. Make sure you guys tag and like. Thank you guys so much. Over and out.